Yes, sir. We are back. Fix my bonnet. Why is it so crooked? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Toshi. We're back at it with some more anime heat. It's time to play catch up. I wasn't able to stream this week. One, because I'm in rehearsals. So it's taking, it's taking some time. I'd be tired as hell after rehearsals and I can't get up early enough before rehearsals to stream. But I was also on timeout. I'm on a YouTube timeout. I got my first strike, which goes away in like February. So I wasn't able to upload on YouTube this week. So if you're just now catching me, just know I was live. So make sure you hit those links in the description to watch the live because YouTube is getting it late. But if you're seeing this, I appreciate you. Hit the like, comment, sizz up, and now let's get into it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get into it. Dragon Ball Daima Season 1 Episode 7, Collar. Not sure what that means. We were left off on the planet Earth. Got to see that Boma's ship didn't work. So the technology might be a little too advanced for her. And then also Goku and company were crash landed and they needed some time to repair the ship. And they had to unload, you know, or offload all those extra supplies. Take, you know, a little less than half um, to make their trip a little easier so they're not overweight. Yeah, it's an adventure story going on right now. We've been watching one side for the last few episodes. Now it seems like they're going to switch gears and switch it to the other side so we can see the Z fighters pull up, which is really just going to be Piccolo and Vegeta because Piccolo, obviously, he's never been to the Demon Realm, but we know that his whole entire race is from the Demon Realm. So Piccolo will be going um, and Vegeta will be going. And I, I don't know who else is going with them. It didn't seem like Boma was going, but maybe Boma's going this time. I don't know, but we'll see. But... Let's get into the Dragon Ball Daima. Let's get into the Daima. It's five, five, five. I swear I just put these back. So it needs Demon Realm components. I knew that. She doesn't have the technology to make it. I thought she would be able to make an alternative, though. Yep, I knew it. Pull up time. Luckily, they sent his ass. That shit like a beetle. It don't look like a ship a villain would be in, though. <laughs> One of those is worth two meals. So he just ate four meals. <laughs> he didn't raise his kids. I wasn't really involved. Hey, yo. At least, yo. <laughs> yo. Now that's straight comedy. They had to put that in the writing. They had to put that. When it came to a joke like that, she said, damn, it's hard to believe you're an adult. How'd you raise your kids? He said, I really wasn't involved. <laughs> Which is facts. Goku did not raise his kids. What's that? She got a good eye. Damn, they really looking for my boy Goku, huh? You flip a U-turn? I was about to say, y'all are ships in the air. Got no choice. Uh, why is it impossible? Goku gotta hide. Goku should just go Super Saiyan. They'd be like, y'all got the wrong kid. Where the hell did Goku hide? They put him in a stuffed animal? Is he just that fast? What, he instant transmission? Why didn't he instant transmission somewhere further? Wait, I'm so confused. How did he run that fast? Ah, uh, he instant transmission. Who getting hands? Oh, Supreme Kai said, "Look, I put up you put up your dukes." The animation quality is fire. Let's go. We'll put a little electricity behind them punches. I thought they was taking off. They using the planes. Ain't no way, boy. They, sh they shooting at y'all? No, not the plane, bro. You gonna have to take one of theirs. Fuck that. 
Okay, never mind. You're not taking one of theirs now. Oh, yeah, they go to the last one. Goku? Let's go, a little energy blast. <laughs> Just one little single energy blast. What about the ship? Why do niggas run straight to the ship and split, bro? I know they were shooting y'all. Oh, they do got an extra one. I would have repainted that motherfucker. Bro, Goku, get that collar off of her, bro. Do something about that. I know he could do it. Shit, can the Supreme Kai do it? It's his people? Oh, shit, his sister. They grow with you as you get older. That's crazy. He's like, my sister did it. I know how to undo it. There you go. You're free. Fire. You better clean up that mess. Somebody gonna know you broke your collar. Oh, she gonna be like a dog off the leash. Oh, shit. That's the real name. Nahare. Supreme Kai's real name. Nahare. Yeah, he said that. I didn't feel right. I'm gonna still call you Supreme Kai. Okay, that's fire. We got some good info there. Twice as flash? Oh, they're gonna get their way faster now. Hmm. She got a hacker on hand? She got connects. Goku said, hell no. Nah. I'm not waiting to catch hands. Let's go catch these hands now. They can catch up. Wow, Boma's in a demon realm. How crazy is that? There's a human in a demon realm. Oh shit. So now we're in episode seven and they're coming, they're coming up on the first Dragon Ball. This is just the village they need to be in. Who is it over there? Is that what's glowing? Is that's not a sun? That's the Dragon Ball? I'm just taking guesses. Oh, look at that. First opponent. Oh, the Dragon Ball's on his chest. Yo, Goku's so hype. Goku said, let me eat and go to the bathroom real quick. I'm mean, gonna catch these hands. Yo, Goku really be eating anything. With a long, big gun. Ooh, we got someone's lore. I mean, he's stronger than Dabura, we know that. Especially right now. Oh shit, here we go. Let's go. Time to catch these hands. Damn. Oh shit. Let us begin. Catch these hands. Here we go. Some action, baby. Next episode. Yeah. Freeze frame. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Fire. Back in the human world, we already saw, we already seen, we already know that they could have take off. And then we found out the reason why is that there is an element that isn't even on the planet Earth that Boma could recreate that material to, you know, use it to help the plane that she had to reverse engineer fly. She could put what, whatever other materials in there, but it wasn't the material they needed from the demon realm. So she couldn't make it work. But we know the homie pulled up, picked them up, and now they are actually in the demon world. So now Boma can collect that material. Eventually, by the end of this journey, Boma will have a bunch of new material to take to Earth that nobody has ever seen or heard of. And then she could reverse engineer or recreate all of these different materials that she's about to discover in this planet in this universe in this realm and maybe do some more advancements in the on earth imagine going to a whole nother realm and gathering materials that aren't even accessible in your universe then you go and create things from it you're you're the only person 
on the entire planet who has resources of this these types of materials you're gonna create something crazy and then obviously learn how to advance the technology even further which is super dope that's something like i don't know if that's gonna happen but i'm just you know i'm just mentally thinking of like what the fuck i would do with it if i was boma but now they're in the demon realm uh vegeta and piccolo are on their way with boma goku is a challenging the third um this third warrior this third guardian so i'm assuming they're gonna go down it's gonna be three two one right now we got the number three tamagi number three we're gonna have tamagi number two and tamagi number one uh i know tamagami my fault tamagami tamagami number three but yeah we got some action going on this is a hammer obviously they're all gonna have different weapons uh definitely look strong but we know goku's gonna win and that's probably just that's that but it's going to be a definitely a great first battle i think the second battle will be way harder than the, the first one um this would be like the first test nobody's ever beat any of these so once he beats it the word is going to spread like a wildfire through the whole realm that this spiky hair kid from another universe has defeated the first uh the third Tamagami, and that's just gonna travel to the first demon realm and then the new demon king is gonna be like oh shit these niggas is here and then obviously the story is gonna start getting even more crazy from there but right now we're just about to see goku uh square up and catch his hands with the number three and then i think vegeta and piccolo pull up either after he defeated it or during him defeating it and you know then they'll be on to the next which should be fun it, it looks it's an adventure story, their collection. Like, this shit could be a video game, which would be dope. It'd be a dope open world adventure game if this was a real deal. Um, they could make it from it. I hope they make one from it, actually. Uh, think about it. That'd be dope to have a diamond open world game. Breath of the Wild style. Feel me? But, dope episode. We got some information on the Supreme Kai after he took off her collar. Because it's made from a material that his people, the Glens, use. Planet Kashin, where he's from. So he's able to destroy the collar with his power. Because um, his sister was the one who made it. And found out his real name, Nahar. Nahare. Which sounds... I don't know what Nahare actually. I don't know what... I was going to say it sounds like something. But I don't know where Nahare would be from. Maybe like a Middle Eastern name. But Goku was like, I'm going to just keep calling you Supreme Kai. But yeah, now we're seeing, like, now we're getting origins of the, all the Kais from their planet and shit like that. So it's, it's giving us some lore. We also got another one where he was about to fight this this third uh, Tamagami. And, and he was like, the last guy I challenged him 20 years ago. And he had a long sword or a long gun, like a sniper, maybe. So maybe... I don't know, maybe in the Dragon Ball series 20 years ago in their world, maybe there was a character we came across that was a sniper. And maybe that sniper came to the demon realm and got bodied. I feel like, you know, when they when they throw out little information like that, I feel like it's somebody we know or something, some like it it just it wraps around somewhere in the lore of this world. And I don't know who that would be. I'm pretty sure it's somebody. If you ask one of these OG hardcore fans, I'm pretty sure somebody knows. If you know, comment below if you know who the sniper was that challenged the third Tamagi, Tama, Tamagami 20 years ago. Not sure who that is. He said with a long, somebody 20 years ago, guy with a big gun. I, I thought big gun like as in a sniper, but it could have been uh, it could have been a Tommy gun, like not a Tommy. It could have been a mini gun or something. But say said it's over in an instant. So yeah, 20 years ago when like Goku was a kid, maybe it was somebody in the Dragon Ball series we know that had a big gun. Honestly, I can't think right now, but hey, it's interesting. Little contest clues here and there, man. Little contest clues here and there. I'm pretty sure there are more in it. I like the details that are coming out. I like the lore they're giving. I like, I like it all. I'm enjoying animation. Yeah, they're doing it right, man. Dragon Ball is doing it right. I'm excited to see what's next, but let me know what you thought in the comments below, and that was Dragon Ball Daima. All right, that's my time, man. Appreciate y'all for stopping by the stream, checking me live. If you're just not catching this on YouTube, you already know what to do.
Hit the links in the description. Pull up on your boy. Live in action. Be a part of the conversation. Hit those links in the description. Like, comment, and sizzle up. All of the above. I will catch you guys next time. As always, have fun. Stay fly and be free. I'm out of here.